Kwe Demandashe, ANC National Chairperson, expressed his frustration over what he called ethno-nationalism, gaining traction within the party, attributing some of these shifts to former President Jacob Zuma at a memorial service in Cape Town on Wednesday for the late Labour Minister Amin Batis Mladlana. Mandasha shared his concerns about the ANC's recent losses, describing the influence of ethno-nationalism as detrimental to the party's performance in the May 29 elections. Mjadana, who passed away on October 18 at the age of 72, was a well-regarded leader within the ANC. Speaking at the memorial, Mandasha indicated that Zuma's influence has significantly impacted ANC's voter base, especially in Wazul Natal, Akhauteng and Bumalanga. These losses, he observed, also affected the Inkata Freedom Party. According to Mandashe, the rise of the Umkondo Sizo party played a major role in these setbacks, with the MK party using an ethno-nationalist platform to sway voters in KZN, a stronghold previously dominated by the NC. Mandashe claimed that MK party managed to attract voters from within the IFP's network, particularly from hostile residents. The MK party connected with IFP supporters and took a considerable number of votes from those areas, even in Bomalanga. They drew away some of our support. This was pure ethno-nationalism captured in the slogan Zulu Hlanganani, he said, suggesting that further research should be done on the phenomenon. While Mandasha described the MK party as a party focused on Zulu voters, MKP leaders have repeatedly stated that their vision is broader and inclusive. Nonetheless, the MK party won a significant 45.35% of the vote in KZN, while the NC trailed at 16.99% marking a steep drop from the 54% it held in 2019. The MK party is now the third largest party in South Africa, with 58 seats in parliament. Reflecting on these results, Mandasha admitted that the AC had no opportunity for a comeback in KZN, and losing KZN and Gauteng cost the party's national majority. He noted that many AC supporters attended rallies, wore AC t-shirts and ate AC provided food, yet ultimately cast their ballots for the MK party. In KZN, Zuma worked against this. People came to the polls in AC shirts, ate AC meals, but voted for the MK party. Zuma defeated us in KZN and weakened the IFP as well. I'm here to report this, Balo, that your mate was our undoing, he said. Mandasha also used the occasion to highlight Mladana's unwavering dedication to the AC's mission and urged members to uphold his legacy. He called on the AC to unite and strive for a resurgence, particularly in regions where it has recently lost ground. To honor Mladana, Deputy President Paul Mashatile had designated a special official funeral category too. The funeral service will take place on Saturday in Cape Town, where Mashatile will deliver a eulogy celebrating Mladana's contribution.